Yeah, it's a hot one. Rise up, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, kings and queens, friends, frenemies, and you agents. This is the Gambia One channel. My name is Robert Mali, and you just saw the temperature of the Gambia. This is the Gambia. Oh, let me let me show you outside. I'll show you outside. Show you the Gambia. Hold on a second. Let's get out of the car. Right? Okay. So. What I'm going to talk to you about is so important to me that it's so important to me that I'm doing it twice. All right, so uh, the editing is going to be stellar, <laughs> but let's get on with it, okay? Yeah, this is the Gambia. Okay, so today I'm just by African Princess Hotel and uh, heading towards Solomon's. Hopefully I should be able to meet some people here and uh, see what I'll go on with them. Okay, so I'm looking for a crowd of people. Crowd of my people, crowd of my people, crowd of my people. No, 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 oh! There they are, that's a crowd of my people right there. Let's go ahead and say Heidi. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, oh, your hugs are the best. You okay? Oh my god. You yeah. alright? Thank you for coming. Hey, it's my pleasure. Hold on a second. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's kind of hot here, man. Ooh, let's move away from the crowd a bit so we can have our own private discussion. Okay, I'm at Solomon's now. I'm getting a little bite to eat and something to drink. That's the group just over there. Here they are. So I can zoom in. Yeah, that's them. Thank you very much, sir. You know what baffles me? When I'm looking at all of this, all this sunshine, peace, tranquility, people enjoying their Sunday afternoon at the seaside in March. I don't see no sort of like you know, cold area. This is it's a hot area. We've got tourists here, we've got the surf out there. When I see all of that, my question is, how come, what is it that made those people, those Africans who have gone over to the Ukraine and got caught up in that, what made them leave all of this to go over to Europe? Why would someone do that? Well, it's all about information. The information that you are given will dictate your thoughts and feelings and your thoughts and feelings will dictate your actions. So, if the information that you've been given is false, then be sure your actions will not be logical. Have left this place, and I don't mean you know, poor people. I'm talking about the middle class, the people who have enough money to be able to pay for visas, travel tickets, and accommodation abroad in order then to pay for education. So they're not no broke people. These are people who are um, highly motivated, highly educated, and they're moneyed as well. So the people who will actually push Gambia forward are not in the Gambia. And in fact, they are incentivized to not be in the Gambia because of the information that is being given to them. Let me give you a word to the wise. The reason for this video and for many other videos that have been coming out of the Gambia, you know, whether we acknowledge it or not, whether it's on purpose or just 
by happenstance. The reason for it is to drive a new narrative. See, before um, Juliet and Adrian came along from Black Sea, I didn't hear of uh, YouTube videos coming out of the Gambia, enticing people, inviting people, um, and, and giving people information about moving over here. I was already here before they opened, but I didn't hear that language coming out of this place via this phone, via YouTube. So, this conversation that we're having is still a very young one. But it's essential because if we don't control our narrative, trust and believe other people will set the narrative for us. If you're in charge of the narrative and not letting other people to, not leaving to other people to run the narrative for you, you can have positive, immediate results. So if you have young, wealthy, bright people leaving the country, you're not left with the bright and best of the country that the country can provide. You're left with a brain drain. And also, there's a financial drain happening as well. So now that the information has already been put out there that the best place for those people to be is out of Gambia, Gambia is suffering. You'll see at least a hundred years of growth missing from Gambia in comparison to their neighbours. And that's because there is a constant and continuous generational brain drain happening here. So things that would be good, things that would work for the country, people who would be good for the country, they're no longer here, they've moved on. People leave thinking they're going for education, then they meet someone, then they have a family, then they stay there. All because the information that they've been given isn't true. So look, I implore you to also be part of that narrative. How do you say how? How is by liking this video. By liking the video and sharing it. Let other people know that Gambia is open for a business, for somewhere to retire to, for a holiday. You can come here and do that. I'm not saying the Gambia is perfect because, as I say, there's a lot of inefficiencies here. There's a lot of standards that is kept over in the West that isn't here. This guy. Oh my God. Look how high this water is. It's right up to my knees. Higher than my knees. My trousers are getting wet. Crazy. All right, people. So this is your brother Mali on the Gambi One channel. And until next time, signing off. Peace.